For Chautauqua County, the pressure is on tonight for officials in Jamestown, New York, to help the rising homeless population before temperatures drop this fall and winter. Jamestown Mayor Eddie Sunquist Saturday sat down a one-on-one -on -one with our media partner, WNY News Now Justin Gould, to talk about this rising issue. We're trying to work together with all of our providers, with our faith-based groups, to try to create some emergency sheltering uh, during the winter time and to be able to provide a space where we know people are going to be at and be able to bring the resources that people need and want to connect to right to them. Right now, the city is not equipped to handle such a large number of people on the street. We used to have a small homeless population, a census of maybe 25 to 30 that we would normally count every couple months. Uh, we're starting to see larger encampments, um, upwards of 70 people or more. The challenge has changed. Right? We used to be able to provide services for individuals and resources, and all of our organizations are set up for a smaller amount of people. Currently, there are two shelters in operation with more to come. One for, uh, for men and another for women, mostly of domestic violence. Uh, so you're, you're actually not looking at a lot. When we had shelters that would go up to normally about 20 people, it would be more than enough to house a smaller homeless population. There are two other shelters uh, in the works, one for women and for kids, uh, and another for, uh, for um, various different uh, types of individuals. With winter approaching quickly, there is a new plan to temporarily house those who need it, but the mayor recognizes this program is not without its flaw. Uh, currently, the county uses a program called Code Blue. So once the temperature drops below 32 degrees, individuals can be housed in hotels, motels, or other emergency shelter. In addition, the county has a bunch of warming centers that allow you to go get warm, but then you're back out on the street. Justin Gould, WNY News Now.